humankind have been around for thousands and thousands of years and we've used ships to transport even to this day. 90% of the commerce in the world is transported by, by the oceans. <laughs> Thousands of shipwrecks are going to turn up with incredibly rich cargoes and what you get are clusters as well. Hidden beneath the waves and shrouded in mystery, shipwrecks like the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, the HMS Erebus, and the Antikythera shipwreck hold secrets of the deep. <laughs> From the tragic sinking of the RMS Lusitania to the eerie abandonment of the MV Joyita, these sunken vessels captivate our imaginations and reveal haunting tales from the past. Dive with us into the deep blue mysteries as we explore the 20 most mysterious shipwrecks ever found. Number 20. MV Joyita. The MV Joyita, a merchant vessel that became one of the South Pacific's most enduring mysteries, vanished in 1955 with 25 people on board. It was found adrift five weeks later without a single soul aboard, in a condition that raised more questions than answers. Originally built as a luxury yacht in 1931 in Los Angeles, the 69-foot wooden vessel was later converted for military use during World War II. By 1955, the Joyita had seen better days, operating as a trading and fishing charter in the dangerous waters of the South Pacific. On October 3, 1955, the Joyita left Samoa for the Tokelau Islands, a journey of approximately 270 miles. The ship, expected to reach its destination in 48 hours, never arrived, sparking a massive search that turned up nothing. It wasn't until November 10th that the Joyita was spotted, over 600 miles west from its scheduled route. The condition of the ship when found was bizarre and unsettling. The vessel was partially submerged and listing heavily to port. Despite the severe flooding, the Joyita was still afloat, thanks to its cork-lined hull, designed to be unsinkable. Strangely, the radio was tuned to the international distress signal frequency, but the range was limited to about two miles. No distress signals had been sent. An inspection revealed that the lifeboats were missing, and personal belongings, along with a cargo of medical supplies, food, and timber, were undisturbed. The ship's logbook and navigation equipment, along with three rifles, were missing, which only deepened the mystery. The official inquiry failed to determine a cause for the abandonment. Speculations ranged from piracy to insurance fraud, and even to Soviet interference during the Cold War era. The lack of evidence meant no conclusion was definitive. Number 19. SS Edmund Fitzgerald. The SS Edmund Fitzgerald, often simply called the Fitzgerald, was a Great Lakes freighter that remains one of the largest ships to have disappeared in Lake Superior. Launched on June 7, 1958, this massive freighter was 729 feet long and held a record for the largest ship on the Great Lakes for 13 years. On November 10, 1975, the Fitzgerald set sail from Superior, Wisconsin, destined for a steel mill near Detroit, Michigan, with a full cargo of 26,116 tons of iron ore pellets. Accompanied by the freighter Arthur M. Anderson, the Fitzgerald encountered a massive storm with near-hurricane-force winds and waves reaching heights of 35 feet. The last communication from the Fitzgerald's captain, Ernest McSorley, was chilling. He reported, we are holding our own just before the ship vanished from radar. Tragically, the ship and all 29 crew members were lost, with no distress signal sent. The Fitzgerald sank approximately 17 miles from the entrance to Whitefish Bay. A search and rescue mission turned into a recovery operation, when the ship's wreckage was found on November 14, 1975, at a depth of 253 feet. The discovery revealed a broken ship, with its bow and stern sections lying approximately 170 feet apart. The mystery of what exactly caused the Fitzgerald to sink so suddenly and completely continues to intrigue and puzzle experts. Theories range from massive rogue waves to structural failure due to the ship's age and frequent journeys. In 2016, further underwater investigations provided new footage of the wreck but no conclusive evidence as to the cause. Number 18. The Antikythera Shipwreck the Antikythera shipwreck, discovered off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera in 1901, holds the key to understanding ancient Greek technology and culture. This shipwreck, dating back to approximately 70 BC, has revealed artifacts and treasures that challenge our understanding of ancient scientific knowledge. When sponge divers first discovered the wreck, they brought up a stunning hall that included bronze and marble statues, jewelry, 
furniture, luxury glassware, and the mysterious Antikythera mechanism. This device, often hailed as the world's first analog computer, is believed to have been used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for calendrical and astrological purposes, far ahead of any technology known from the period. Further explorations and recoveries have painted a picture of a large cargo ship, possibly en route from Asia Minor to Rome, filled with goods and artworks. It's estimated that the ship was about 40 meters long, typical of large Roman merchant ships of that era. What makes the Antikythera wreck so fascinating is not just the cargo, but the high level of artistry and the complexity of the items recovered, suggesting they were the possessions of a highly elite group. Archaeological studies on the wooden remains and other artifacts suggest the ship could have been part of a larger fleet, possibly caught in a severe storm. The presence of items from several different cultures indicates extensive trade networks and the movement of goods across great distances. The ongoing excavations have continued to reveal more about the ship's contents, including human remains, which are providing DNA clues about who was on board. Number 17. The Lost Fleet of Kublai Khan the lost fleet of Kublai Khan, an ambitious naval endeavor, set sail in 1274 and 1281 to conquer Japan. In 1274, Kublai Khan launched a fleet of 900 ships, but a fierce storm thwarted the invasion, decimating the fleet. Undeterred, Kublai Khan attempted a second invasion in 1281 with an even larger fleet. This time, 3,500 ships carrying 100,000 soldiers departed from China. The fleet was divided into two armadas, one from Korea, which quickly captured Tsushima Island, and the larger fleet from China. However, the hastily constructed Chinese ships were not built to withstand the harsh conditions of the open sea. As the fleet approached Japan, it was struck by a typhoon, now famously known as the Divine Wind, or Kamikaze. The storm annihilated the fleet, causing thousands of ships to sink and leaving countless soldiers to drown. For centuries, the exact fate of the lost fleet remained shrouded in mystery, until underwater archaeologists discovered the wreckage in the waters off western Japan. The remains of Kublai Khan's ships provided significant insights into 13th century shipbuilding and naval warfare. Among the artifacts found were Chinese ceramics, armor, and weapons, all remarkably preserved under the sea. Number 16. SS Cotopaxi. The SS Cotopaxi, a tramp steamer named after an Ecuadorian volcano, vanished under mysterious circumstances in December 1925. Its disappearance has fueled numerous theories and legends, especially those surrounding the infamous Bermuda Triangle. Built in 1918 by the Great Lakes Engineering Works, the Cotopaxi was a sturdy vessel, measuring 253 feet in length and weighing 2,351 tons. It primarily transported coal and other bulk goods along the eastern seaboard of the United States and to various Caribbean ports. On November 29th, 1925, the Cotopaxi departed Charleston, South Carolina, bound for Havana, Cuba, with a cargo of coal. Under the command of Captain W.J. Mayer, the ship had a crew of 32 men. Just two days into the voyage, on December 1, the Cotopaxi sent out a distress call reporting that the ship was taking on water during a storm. Then, it vanished without a trace, sparking one of the greatest maritime mysteries of the 20th century. For decades, the disappearance of the SS Cotopaxi remained unsolved. Theories ranged from the ship sinking due to the storm to more sensational ideas involving the Bermuda Triangle. It wasn't until January 2020 that the mystery began to unravel. Marine biologist and underwater explorer Michael Barnett announced the discovery of a wreck off the coast of St. Augustine, Florida, known as Bear Wreck. After extensive research and analysis, Barnett and his team identified the wreck as the SS Cotopaxi. The discovery revealed significant damage to the ship's hull, consistent with the distress call about taking on water. This finding supported the theory that the ship had succumbed to the storm. Number 15. Yacht Mar Sem Fim. The Yacht Mar Sem Fim, a Brazilian vessel, met a dramatic end in the icy waters of Antarctica, capturing the world's attention with its mysterious and eerie fate. Owned by Brazilian journalist João Lara Mesquita, the Marsem Fim was on an expedition to film a documentary when it encountered a series of unfortunate events in April 2012. The yacht was a 76-foot-long steel-hulled boat, designed to withstand rough seas and harsh weather. On this particular voyage, the Marsem Fim and its crew were navigating through the Antarctic Peninsula, a notoriously challenging and unpredictable region. The expedition aimed to document the pristine and remote beauty of Antarctica, but nature had other plans. On April 7, 2012, the Mar Sem Fim became trapped in thick ice near Ardley Cove, close to the Chilean Antarctic base. Despite the crew's best efforts to free the yacht, 
it was relentlessly battered by fierce winds and waves, causing it to list and eventually take on water. The situation became dire, forcing the crew to abandon the vessel and seek refuge at the nearby base. They were subsequently rescued by the Chilean Navy. The Marsem Fim, now unmanned, continued to be battered by the elements. On April 17th, the yacht was finally overwhelmed, capsizing and sinking in shallow waters. Photographs and footage of the sunken yacht, with its hull eerily visible through the clear Antarctic waters, quickly spread across the internet, turning it into a viral sensation. In March 2013, a salvage operation successfully raised the Marsem Fim from its icy grave. Despite the extensive damage, the yacht was towed back to Brazil, where it underwent repairs. Number 14. RMS Lusitania. The RMS Lusitania, a British ocean liner, met a tragic and mysterious fate on May 7, 1915. Built by John Brown & Co. in Scotland and launched in 1906, the Lusitania was one of the largest and fastest ships of its time, measuring 787 feet in length and capable of speeds up to 25 knots. On its fateful voyage, the Lusitania was traveling from New York to Liverpool with 1,959 passengers and crew on board. Despite warnings from the German government that Allied ships were at risk of being targeted, the Lusitania set sail, confident in its speed and the belief that civilian vessels would not be attacked. However, the world was shocked when a German U-boat, U-20, torpedoed the Lusitania off the coast of Ireland. The torpedo hit the ship on the starboard side, causing a massive explosion, likely from ignited coal dust or ammunition stored in the hold. Within 18 minutes, the Lusitania sank, taking 1,198 lives including 128 Americans. The sinking of the Lusitania became a significant factor in the United States' decision to enter World War I. The wreck of the Lusitania was discovered in 1935, lying on its starboard side at a depth of approximately 300 feet, about 11 miles off the old head of Kinsale, Ireland. The discovery of the wreck sparked numerous investigations and debates regarding the cause of the secondary explosion. Some theories suggest that the ship was carrying war munitions, which contributed to the rapid sinking, a claim that the British government has neither confirmed nor denied. Further explorations of the wreck have revealed valuable artifacts, personal belongings of passengers, and significant structural damage consistent with an internal explosion. Number 13. HMS Erebus. HMS Erebus, a ship from Sir John Franklin's ill-fated expedition to find the Northwest Passage, remains one of the most mysterious shipwrecks ever found. Launched in 1826, the Erebus, along with its companion ship HMS Terror, set sail in 1845. Commanded by Sir John Franklin, the expedition aimed to chart the last uncharted section of the Northwest Passage in the Canadian Arctic. The Erebus and Terror were last seen by European whalers in Baffin Bay in July 1845. The disappearance of the ship sparked a massive search effort, involving dozens of expeditions over the next decade. Despite these efforts, the fate of the Erebus and its crew remained unknown for over 160 years. In September 2014, a team from Parks Canada discovered the wreck of HMS Erebus in the eastern portion of Queen Maud Gulf, off the coast of King William Island. The ship was found in only 36 feet of water, remarkably well preserved in the cold Arctic environment. The discovery provided significant insights into the doomed expedition. Artifacts recovered from the site include the ship's bell, personal items, and scientific instruments, all helping to piece together the story of what happened. The evidence suggests that the crew abandoned the ice lock ship in a desperate attempt to reach safety overland, a journey none survived. Number 12. Mary Rose. The Mary Rose, a Tudor warship in King Henry VIII's fleet, mysteriously sank on July 19, 1545, during the Battle of the Solent against the French fleet. What makes her sinking particularly baffling is that it occurred in clear weather and calm seas. The ship was leading the attack, and eyewitness accounts suggest that she fired her guns and made a sharp turn, causing her to heel over and water to flood in through the gun ports, which were open for battle. The Mary Rose was one of the first ships capable of firing a broadside, and her design included heavy guns that could have contributed to her instability. Theories about her sinking range from overloading with heavy cannons, poor handling by the crew, to the possibility of being hit by French gunfire. However, none of these theories fully explain why a seasoned warship, under the command of an experienced crew, would sink so suddenly. Raised from the seabed in 1982, the Mary Rose is now a centerpiece of maritime archaeology and Tudor naval history. The shipwreck was remarkably well-preserved, providing an unprecedented glimpse into the naval warfare of the time 
and the daily lives of the sailors. Thousands of artifacts, including weapons, personal belongings, and the remains of about 500 crew members, were recovered. Despite extensive research, the exact cause of her sinking remains a topic of debate among historians and archaeologists. Number 11. HMS Victory HMS Victory, a pride of the British Royal Navy, launched in 1737, was a magnificent vessel of her time. She boasted three gun decks and carried 100 guns. Unfortunately, her design had a fatal flaw that made her prone to being pushed downwind. This flaw likely contributed to her mysterious disappearance in 1744. During a massive storm, the entire Channel fleet was caught off guard, and HMS Victory vanished without a trace, taking all 1,150 crew members with her. For over two centuries, the fate of HMS Victory remained a mystery until her wreck was discovered in 2008. Divers and scientists explored the wreckage, revealing a story of maritime tragedy and lost treasure. HMS Victory was rumored to be carrying four tons of gold coins when she sank, a treasure that has never been recovered. This adds a layer of intrigue and mystery to her story, as the exact location and fate of the gold remain unknown. The discovery of HMS Victory's wreck provided valuable insights into 18th century naval architecture and maritime history. However, the greatest secret of the HMS Victory, the rumored treasure, remains lost to the depths of the sea. Despite extensive searches, no gold coins have been found at the wreck site. Number 10. Nuestra Señora de Atocha Nuestra Señora de Atocha, a Spanish treasure galleon, sank in 1622 near the Florida Keys, loaded with a vast wealth that became the stuff of legend. This ship, part of a fleet of 28 ships, met its tragic end when a hurricane swept through the fleet, sinking eight of the ships, including Atocha. The Atocha was heavily laden with silver, gold, copper, tobacco, gems, and indigo from Spanish colonies in the Americas destined for the coffers of Spain. The ship's sinking was not just a maritime disaster, but also a severe financial loss for the Spanish Empire. It prompted one of the most extended and costly recovery efforts in history. And in Despite immediate attempts in the years following the sinking, the location of Atosha and its treasure remained a mystery for over 350 years. It wasn't until 1985, the treasure hunter Mel Fisher located the wreck after a relentless 16-year search. Upon discovery, the Atacha revealed her hidden treasures, which included over 40 tons of silver and gold, 100,000 silver coins, Colombian emeralds, gold chains, and artifacts that shed light on 17th century life. Number 9. The Patriot. The Patriot, a notable American privateer brig, vanished in 1812, creating one of the maritime world's long-standing mysteries. This ship was last seen departing from Georgetown, South Carolina, with a notable passenger, Theodosia Burr Alston, the daughter of former Vice President Aaron Burr. She was traveling to New York City to visit her father. The loss of the Patriot is steeped in mystery and speculation, because the ship never reached its destination, and no trace of it or any of its crew was ever found. The theories about its disappearance range widely. Some speculate that the Patriot might have been overpowered by pirates, a common hazard in those waters at the time. Others suggest it could have been wrecked in a severe storm, as it was last seen entering an area prone to such weather events. Another compelling theory posits that the ship encountered a British warship, considering the ongoing War of 1812, and was either sunk or captured, its identity obscured in the fog of war. The intrigue around the Patriot's disappearance is enhanced by the prominence of Theodosia Burr Alston. Her involvement leads to various additional theories including kidnapping or a planned disappearance, each adding layers to the mystery. Number 8. The Hunley. The HL. Hunley, a Civil War submarine, holds the tragic distinction of sinking three times, the final leading to its long disappearance until rediscovered in 1995. Launched in 1863, the Hunley was a pioneering force in naval warfare, representing one of the earliest combat submarines. On its inaugural mission, the Hunley sank at the dock, possibly swamped by the wake of a passing ship or dragged underwater by tangled lines, resulting in the death of five crew members. Undeterred, the submarine was salvaged and relaunched months later, only to sink again when someone inadvertently left a valve open, killing all eight aboard. Despite these repeated disasters, the Confederate Navy refurbished the Hunley for another mission in February 1864. This time, it successfully sank the USS Housatonic, a Union warship blocking Charleston Harbor. However, this mission proved fatal for the Hunley's crew as well, as the submarine disappeared after the attack, marking its third and final sinking. 
mystery shrouded the fate of the Hunley and her crew, until the wreck was discovered off Charleston's coast over a century later. The submarine was raised in 2000, with the remains of the eight crew members found inside, still at their posts. The exact cause of the Hunley's final demise remains unknown. Theories suggest it might have been damaged by its own torpedo, trapped by adverse tides, or even struck unknowingly by a Union rescue ship. Number 7. The World Trade Center Ship Discovered in 2010 during the construction of the New World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, the remnants of an 18th century ship puzzled archaeologists and historians. The vessel, later identified as a Hudson River sloop, was used in the late 1700s, mainly for transporting goods along the eastern seaboard. Its remains were found 22 feet below street level, in a filled-in area that was part of the Hudson River during the colonial era. This unexpected find was not just a piece of wood, it was a nearly intact 32-foot-long section of the hull. Dendrochronology, the scientific method of dating based on the analysis of patterns of tree rings, helped researchers determine that the wood used to build the ship came from a type of oak that was common in the Philadelphia area around 1773. The discovery raises many questions. How did the ship end up buried beneath what would become such a significant urban and commercial center? It's believed that the ship was purposely sunk to act as part of a landfill to extend the shores of Lower Manhattan. Number 6. SS Andrea Doria The SS Andrea Doria, an Italian ocean liner, met its fate on July 25, 1956, after colliding with the MS Stockholm in heavy fog off the coast of Nantucket, Massachusetts. This shipwreck remains one of the most infamous maritime disasters in history, not only for the collision, but for the mysteries surrounding the circumstances that led to it. The Andrea Doria was known as a floating art gallery, renowned for its luxurious design and advanced safety features. It was equipped with the latest radar technology of the time. However, despite these advancements, the Andrea Doria and the Stockholm misinterpreted each other's radar signals and courses, leading to the catastrophic collision. The impact caused significant damage to the Andrea Doria's starboard side, fatally compromising her stability. Within 11 hours, the ship sank, leading to the deaths of 46 people, though over 1,600 passengers and crew were rescued thanks to the immediate response from other ships in the vicinity. The mystery deepens with questions about the actions of the crew, the functioning of the radar equipment, and the decisions leading up to the collision. The wreck of the Andrea Doria lies at a depth of 240 feet, and it has become a popular yet dangerous site for divers. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Imagine diving into the depths of the Atlantic, where the sea holds secrets of our modern industrial era like a shipwreck from a ghostly fleet that was once a floating automotive warehouse. This submerged vessel, discovered off the coast, was not your typical shipwreck. It was laden with about 4,000 luxury cars, valued at hundreds of millions of dollars, transforming it into an underwater treasure trove of modern machinery. This ship, a colossal maritime carrier, serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and risks of global commerce. While companies like Toyota and Nissan have shifted to manufacturing cars in the US, to cut costs and avoid logistical nightmares, this wreck tells the tale of the remaining giants that still traverse our oceans. These ships are designed as massive floating garages, a maritime innovation that caters to our global appetite for these luxurious vehicles. The story behind this wreck is shrouded in mystery. What catastrophic event sent these 4,000 cars to their briny grave? Was it a perfect storm, human error, or something more sinister at play? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 5. Vasa. On August 10, 1628, the Vasa set sail from Stockholm Harbor, destined to be one of Sweden's greatest naval ships, but its journey was cut tragically short. Mere minutes after setting sail, the Vasa sank in the Stockholm Harbor, initiating a mystery that would perplex historians and engineers for centuries. Why did such a grand ship sink on its maiden voyage? The answer lies in its design and construction. The Vasa was 70 meters long with a beam of 11 meters, heavily armed with 64 guns distributed across two gun decks, an ambitious design that made it top-heavy. Despite concerns from the shipbuilder Henrik Hibbertson and the crew during construction, the ship was commissioned by King Gustavus Adolphus, who was eager to see his navy strengthened against Poland and Lithuania during the Thirty Years' War. The ship's instability was apparent even before it left the harbor. It failed a stability test, where 30 men ran from side to side, shifting the ship dangerously. Ignoring the obvious signs, 
the ship set sail only to be met by a slight gust of wind that caused it to heel over in water to enter the open gun ports. The Vasa sank to a depth of 32 meters, a stone's throw from the harbor, killing 30 of the 150 crew and guests on board. It rested undisturbed until 1956, when it was located by the Swedish maritime archaeologist Anders Franzen. The salvage in 1961 was a monumental event, broadcast live on television, marking the first time a ship of this size and age had been raised nearly intact. Number 4. SS Central America The SS Central America, often dubbed the Ship of Gold, met its mysterious end in 1857. This side-wheel steamship, built in 1852, was crucial during the California Gold Rush era, transporting vast amounts of gold from the West Coast to the major cities on the East Coast. On September 3, 1857, the SS Central America left the harbor of Colon, Panama, heading towards New York City, with 575 passengers and crew, and carrying 30,000 pounds of gold, valued today at over $100 million. The gold was intended to ease the banking sector's ongoing crisis during that period, known as the Panic of 1857. Tragically, the ship never completed its voyage. On September 9th, it encountered a Category 2 hurricane off the coast of the Carolinas. Despite the crew's efforts to bail out water, the engines failed after the coal ran out. Two days later, the SS Central America succumbed to the hurricane and sank, resulting in the loss of 425 lives. This disaster not only devastated families, but also exacerbated the financial panic of 1857. The shipwreck of the SS Central America remained lost at sea until 1988, when it was discovered by the Columbus America Discovery Group about 160 miles off the coast of South Carolina. At a depth of 8,000 feet, the recovery operations that followed were groundbreaking, using remote-operated vehicles to retrieve thousands of gold coins, bars, and personal belongings from the ocean floor. Number 3. USS Indianapolis The USS Indianapolis, a Portland-class heavy cruiser of the United States Navy, met a tragic fate in July 1945, marking one of the deadliest maritime disasters in naval history. This cruiser, launched in 1931 and measuring 610 feet in length, played a notable role during World War II, including the delivery of critical parts for the first atomic bomb to the island of Tinian. After completing its top-secret mission, the Indianapolis was en route from Guam to the Philippines when it was struck by two torpedoes from the Japanese submarine I-58 on July 30, 1945. The attack led to the rapid sinking of the ship in just 12 minutes, claiming the lives of about 300 crew members with the initial impact. The real tragedy of the Indianapolis, however, lay in the aftermath of the sinking. Nearly 900 men were cast into the shark-infested waters of the Pacific, with no distress signal sent due to the suddenness of the attack. For four horrific days, the survivors faced dehydration, saltwater poisoning, and shark attacks. By the time rescue operations were accidentally launched upon the discovery of survivors, only 316 of the 1,196 crewmen had survived. The wreckage of the Indianapolis was not discovered until 72 years later, in August 2017, by a civilian expedition led by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. The ship was found resting at a depth of more than 18,000 feet in the Philippine Sea. Number 2. Wida Galley. The Wida Galley, a pirate ship captained by the infamous Samuel Black Sam Bellamy, met its mysterious end in 1716. Originally built as a slave ship, the Wida was captured by Bellamy near the Bahamas and transformed into his flagship. Armed with 28 cannons, it became one of the most formidable pirate ships of its time. In April 1716, the Wida, laden with treasures from over 50 plundered ships, encountered a fierce storm off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The storm proved too powerful, and the Wida sank, taking Bellamy and most of his crew with it. For centuries, the ship's fate remained shrouded in mystery and legend. In 1984, underwater explorer Barry Clifford discovered the wreck of the Wida off Wellfleet, Massachusetts. This groundbreaking find marked the first authenticated pirate shipwreck ever recovered in North America. Among the treasures retrieved were gold and silver coins, cannons, and the ship's bell, inscribed with the Wida Galley 1715, which confirmed the ship's identity. Number 1. MV Wilhelm Gustloff The MV Wilhelm Gustloff, a German military transport ship, met a tragic fate on January 30, 1945. Originally a cruise ship for the Nazi Strength Through Joy program, it was repurposed during World War II to transport soldiers and civilians. On that fateful night, the Wilhelm Gustloff was carrying over 10,000 passengers, including wounded soldiers, women, and children, fleeing the advancing Soviet army. The ship, 
heavily overloaded, set sail from Gotenhafen, now Gdynia, Poland towards Kiel, Germany, in the freezing Baltic Sea. The ship's journey ended abruptly when it was torpedoed by the Soviet submarine S-13, commanded by Alexander Marinesco. The submarine launched three torpedoes, all of which struck the Wilhelm Guslov. Within 40 minutes, the ship sank into the icy waters. Over 9,000 people perished, including many who were trapped below deck or succumbed to hypothermia in the freezing sea. The wreck of the Wilhelm Guslov was located shortly after the war, but remains at the bottom of the Baltic Sea, relatively undisturbed. The site is considered a war grave, and diving is restricted out of respect for the thousands who lost their lives. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.